to be reckoned with in their own rights. Ali Catch, as, as you heard, is simply a professional wrestler. And since making her debut in 2015, Catch has definitely gone through a bit of a transformation, a, a change in, in spirit, with a different level of, of focus, of clarity, of, of really a sense of gravity. And wow, already on the offense and, and Camille, Trying to get some distance between herself and her challenger. But the CCW crowd is hinting that, that Camille might be afraid of Allie Catch. I mean, Catch is certainly someone that has gotten bloodied up, has wielded weapons, has you know, been put through tables, glass, even the Atlantic Ocean over the course of her career. I don't think she's having it with the evasive maneuvers of Camille. Okay, Allie Catch looking for a, a, a sign of respect to really get this match started for the NWA World Women's Championship. Strong lockup between both competitors. Camille able to take the headlock. Drives Catch down to the mat. And Camille, the brick house, enjoying a feeling of dominance early on in this match. Catch dodges the lower limbs of Catch. I'm sorry, Camille dodges the lower limbs of Catch. But Catch drives the knee of Camille down to the mat. Catch is someone that had already been debating on which photo the NWA should put on the berth after she beats Camille. Certainly we need some stronger shoulder blocks than that to take down the brick house. Catch off the ropes. Not quite. Camille looking uh, rather amused with these efforts from Allie Catch. Once more with feeling from Allie Catch. Feeling this intensity. Oh, bounds around Camille, but no. Catch goes splat to the mat. Camille off the ropes, jumps over Alley Catch. Catch ducks a blow from Camille, slides through between the legs and takes Camille face first to the mat. Round off drop kick to, from Alley Catch and Camille is out to ringside. As we talked about in our previous matchup, the title cannot change hands with our champ at ringside. Camille, though, taking the, the Burke on her shoulder. Named for Mildred Burke, pioneer in the for women in wrestling. And now catch. Going, oh no, Camille! Using the Burke as a weapon behind the referee's back to lay out Alley Catch. Camille now dragging Catch back to her feet. Sends her into the barricade. Catch clutching at her side, possibly damaged a rib. And now face first collision with the stairs at ringside. And again, Camille has champion's advantage. The title is not in danger of changing hands while Camille is at ringside. And she is really putting Alley Catch through some damage. Now the, the throat of Catch up against that steel barricade. Sounds like our referee almost halfway through her count. 
deposits catch back inside the ring and Ali Cat or in Camille now. Back to Alley Catch. Picks up Catch, who was able to plant herself once more. Drives a blow into the shoulder blade of Camille. Ooh, but a shot to the midsection of Catch. And look at the strength, the power of Camille, who drives Catch into the turnbuckle, flattens her, looking to retain. Not enough. Not enough to put down Alley Catch. Catch is someone who is, over the course of her career, been on some grand stages, has faced some high-level competition, and certainly with the NWA World Women's Championship in the balance here, this is an incredible opportunity for Catch. Neil lines up with a strike to the throat of Catch compromising the airway of her challenger. And the reigning champion again, trying to use anything from any part of this venue, from the barricade to the ropes, trying to impart some damage on Ali Catch. Oh, but Catch with a back elbow to the midsection. But Camille, right back with the offense. Goes for the cover to lay out Catch. Catch kicks out. The stakes are too high. When you think about the high level matches that Catch has seen even recently, she's faced the likes of the AEW World, Women's World Champion Thunder Rosa, of Trisha Dora, Chelsea Green, Ruby Soho, and more. But now is contesting with Camille, and Camille now looking to retain. A guttural cry from Ali Catch. And Camille now wrenching on the neck. Almost looks like she's trying to pry Ali Catch's head from her shoulders. Ali Catch is bellowing in pain. Camille, though. putting all of the pressure on the neck of Allie Catch, who is trying to wind her way out of this compromising position. Oh, and able to wrench the arm of the NWA World Women's Champion is Catch. Catch off the ropes. Oh! Takes a spinning leg, Laria and Camille. Not enough to retain her championship. Catch is still in this competition. Not well documented, these two are not strangers to one another. They have faced in the past, but certainly these two competitors are leaps and bounds from the people that they were when they faced long ago. And there are different stakes in the balance here. The Burke in the balance, and Ali Catch able to dodge the kick from, from Camille, and now gets Camille up on her shoulders. Look at the strength, the power of Ali Catch. Simply a professional wrestler. Catch not able to capitalize on the pin, but has at least bought herself some time, but needs to be able to answer the referee's count to continue this bout. Catch collecting herself. Feeling the passion, the intensity of the crowd here at CCW. But Camille barrels in, takes a back elbow from Catch. And Catch lands Camille down to the mat. Ali Catch barreling through, splash to Camille. And once more for good measure, hip check to the NWA World Women's Champion. Ali Catch. Fires through Cannonball to Camille. Catch, drags Camille to the corner. New champ, could it be? Not enough, Camille, the Brick House. Still in this matchup. Now Allie Catch, bringing Camille back to her feet. Could be looking for that pile driver. 
But no, Camille not allowing herself. Catch. Now propped on the back of Camille. Able to escape. Big kick to Camille, who is looking dazed in the corner. Alley catch barrels through straight to the midsection, forcing the air out of the lungs of the champ. And now Alley catch meeting Camille up on the top turnbuckle. What kind of damage does Catch have in store for the champ? Camille firmly planting herself and now firing off blows of her own. Repositioning is Camille who slips through the legs of Catch. Oh, are you kidding? Look at the power of the NWA World Women's Champion Camille. A full human perched on her shoulders. Spins through, plants catch. No! Catch is not out. Alley catch. Still kicking in this matchup. Able to get that shoulder up just in the nick of time. And you can see the fury in the eyes of Camille. Camille primed and ready. That spear. Oh no, catch. Able to evade. Sweeps her up. The roll up. Camille kicks out. And now catch. Could she be looking? Looking to step over that Boston Crab. This is a match ender. Alley catch with the Boston Crab. Can she bridge it back? Is enough damage being done? To the back of Camille, is the champ going to submit? The champ is crawling her way. Able to make it to the ropes is Camille forcing the break. Catch taking the moment. All of the energy expounded for that submission. But getting right back on top of Camille. But now Camille. Pushes off out the catch. Camille, radio silence. That's it. No. Alley catch kicks out of radio silence. Camille, what is she going to have to do? Ooh, Camille taunting Alley catch. Oh, and catch sweeps up the champ. Camille kicks out. Both competitors on their knees, dishing out the blows to one another. Big forearm strike to Camille. Camille answers. Making their way to their feet. And the exchange continues. A thunderous chop to the chest of Alley Catch. Catch with a flurry of forearms, able to duck the blow and a jab to the champ. Catch might have done some damage to her own hand. Fires back with another. And Catch barrels into, into the pose. Oh my goodness. Camille driving a knee up into the chest of Catch. Oh, but Catch able to escape another blow. Camille goes over the top rope. Through the ropes, takes a knee from Alley Catch. And Catch. Oh my goodness. Spikes Camille straight to the map, but no, Camille. Crumples to ringside. Could have been an, an intentional maneuver from the current reigning champ. And you gotta think those precious seconds could have cost Alley Catch, who now goes for the cover. Could this be it? New champ! No. Camille has called herself the forever champion and said that. She will be the only NWA World Women's Champion. She refuses to give up her title, but 
I, I got to say that those precious seconds that it took for Alley Cats to get Camille back into the ring could have been make or break. Now, Cats looking for that pile driver once more. Almost had Camille all the way up, but Camille now as Alley Cats back up on her shoulders, rolls through. And you can see Alley Cats looking like the hunted. And a spear from Camille. Camille lays out Alley Cats, looking to retain. That's it. the brick house, the self-described forever champ said she is never letting go of the burn. Women's Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, your challenger, Flawless Wrestling's own, Kinsey. I got that old school Japanese intro going here, slick in the ring. And in this corner, wearing the black and the blue, <laughs> she is the NWA Women's Champion, the Brick House, Camille! Camille, just a powerhouse of a female. And you have to think, no doubt, power goes to Camille here. You may give speed also to Camille. The only thing that Camille doesn't have in this match is she is not the veteran in this matchup here. Kenzie Page is the veteran in this matchup. As Celeste checks them both over here. And here we go. And this is what it comes down to. Bell to bell. Nice lock up there, and Camille there just showing the power. Camille, a very arrogant so far in this matchup. Another nice tight lock up here. Just gonna throw Kenzie around like a rag doll there. And I mean, if you're the referee, you know, so there's not much that the referee can do here. Kenzie gonna have to come in quick and get her. You're not gonna be able to lock up. Nice go behind there by Kenzie Page here. And Camille just using those hips, just tossing her to the side here. And this this is how she became the NWA Women's Champion, just dominating matches. And uh, carries on here in this one. Kenzie Page back to her feet again, trying to shake it off here. Gonna go for the arm there. And when you're working somebody like Camille, you know, the, the best thing you can do is just pick a body part and hope to work on it here. Nice ref break in the corner there. Good sportsmanship by Kenzie Page. Kenzie there now. Gonna stay on that arm there, really work on that left arm here. And Celeste, gotta give the break there. This is not Kenzie's first meeting with Camille, but it is here in Flawless. It is here in her home promotion. Nice forearm there. Couple nice forearms there. Kenzie the striker. Camille gonna catch her. Camille showing that pure pure raw power. I mean, this is absolutely nothing to her now. Suplex there, nice vertical suplex. Really working on the back of Kenzie Page here. Camille there using that knee. 
choking her down in the corner there. Ooh, clubbing blow across the chest there. And I mean, he, ooh, kicks to the midsection there. I mean, Camille so far in this matchup has showed that uh, despite not being the veteran, she's absolutely taken over this matchup here. Looking for a nice scoop slam here. A little bit of torque there, putting her in the corner and drives her down there. Looking for a one, two. Only going to get a two there. And you just think if Kenzie can just get a spark here somewhere, just one slip up, maybe there's a chance, you know. Camille using those, using every, every single part of the ring imaginable there. I'm gonna bounce Kenzie's head like a basketball off that off that top rope that Camille looking for it again here. Kenzie's gonna block this one here. Oh and and right there Camille with that unique offense two and a half there. Jumping leg scissors. What a vertical there. Camille going back to the basics here. She's going to work on the neck of Kenzie Page here. Nice short elbows there. Into the side of the neck. Kenzie going to throw some elbows over her own. Now going to bounce off. Oh, and a nice clothesline there. Camille cutting her off right there. And Kenzie is re definitely rich into the bag to try to pull out any trick. You don't get to be the NWA Women's Champion for no reason. Camille in a very short time dominating the, the NWA here. Dominating Kenzie Page right now. Ooh, working on the chest there. Ooh. Really driving him in there, Camille. Using those forearms. Literally bouncing Kenzie around. Kenzie gonna turn it around here. You're gonna fight for your life. Is she gonna shoot Camille in here? Cam and Camille up and over there. Kenzie comes in. Camille, unique offense here. Oh, and a big boot right there to the face there. And you talk about that athleticism. Two and a half. Talk about being an athlete. Camille, an absolute athlete to say the least. She may have her exactly where she wants her. Ooh. Dropping her down there. Really focused on the, the, the back and the neck of Kenzie there. She's going to stand on the lower back there. Drive those knees into the back. And I mean, look, what do you do, you know? There, 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 there's not a whole lot you can do with someone this size here. Camille right now just absolutely toying with Kenzie. Going to shoot her in again. Look for it again and eating the pole there. And if anything can be an equalizer in a wrestling matchup, a ring pole is just that. And Camille has hit the ring pole hard in the corner. And you have to wonder if the 19-year-old can take the NWA Championship right here in her hometown, putting those ar forearms, making her eat them there. Going to shoot her in here, reversal there, bro. Camille not falling. Going to bounce off the ropes again. Another clothesline. Kenzie trying to drop her. Stomp and a chop. Stomp and a chop. A 
and finally takes her off her feet there. And a, literally a kick out at one. All that. All that. And a kick out at one. If that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know what will Camille here. Looking for something here. Got her. Got her up in a Samoan drop. Nice row through with it there. Shades of RVD there. Looking for a spear there. Into with the roll up here. One, two, two and a half there. You're about 12 minutes through this matchup, so fatigue starting to set in on both ends. Has now got her in a torture rack here. Nice camera shot there. The, the size of Camille. Spinning through the torture rack there, dropping her two. Two and a half there. If you're Kinsey Page, it's got to be an instinctual thing at this point to kick out. Absolutely amazing. Camille looking to set her up here. Kenzie with a nice super kick though. Super kick out of nowhere and a RKO. One, two, two and a half there. And you get the feeling that Kenzie's tuning up the band here. Gonna go outside to that top rope here looking for a high risk maneuver. Oh, and Camille gonna cut her off right there at the top and just throws her. Like a rag doll off the top rope. Utter nice spear there. And that, this could be a one, two, three. Camille keeping the NWA championship. Great matchup with Kenzie Page. History could be made here at LNO Triple Shot. Presentation of the title, one of the most respected championships in all of professional wrestling. Are off you can feel it in the air this match has a big fight feel this is a true main event Ashley Dembois versus Camille first time ever Camille asking for the handshake Ashley obliges her show of respect before headed straight to the lockup and it's Camille in control Wrenching back on the wrist, but Dembois able to transition into a wrist lock of her own. The athleticism of Camille, it just never fails to impress. I believe she also will have the size and strength advantage in this matchup, but Dembois has been making waves all over. Seen her in AEW, AEW Dark. She's a student at the Nightmare Factory. She has just the pedigree, the, the caliber of wrestling that she has been doing. There is no reason for her not to defeat Camille tonight. Well, there's one reason, and that reason is Camille herself. Camille has held onto this championship proudly through so many defenses. So, so dominant. And we are back on our feet. Dembois picks the leg, taking down Camille. by Camille. Camille went for another one, but Dembois dropping down. Camille with the leapfrog. Dembois with the leapfrog. 
Went for the hip toss, but Zamboa blocks it. Looking for a backslide as Camille struggles, but gets pinned, new champ, no. And these two are already so evenly matched. It, it just seems like they have an answer for everything each other pulls out. There is a reason why this matchup was so anticipated and you are witnessing it right now as Camille goes for the waist lock and the takedown. Rolling through into a pin. Demba kicks out. You can see her already shaking out her shoulders, but sweeps the leg. Another pinfall. Roll up by Camille. Dembois with the Maestra Cradle. And then back to their feet. Quick, quick roll-ups in this matchup. Both of these wrestlers looking for every opportunity they can to end it, not wasting a moment. Dembois takes the back. Camille running Ashley into the corner to finally break the hold. Camille with that experience, trying to use every moment of the count, but Dembois ducks out of the way. Ashley Dembois into the corner as Camille goes up and over, and Ashley eats a hip toss. Arm drag by Camille. And following up with a body slam, the strength of Camille into a cover. Camille's got Ashley on the shoulders. Dembois knows this is bad news, fights her way out. I, I think she grabbed a handful of hair as well and now follows up with a neck breaker. Ashley Dembois, despite the handshake in the beginning of this match, you can see that she is willing to play a little dirty, willing to get a little disrespectful. I mean, this is a huge, huge match with championship implications. Dembois with the cover. As we have been mentioning, this is the Ladies' Night Out triple shot. This match is the main event of our second event. In the first event earlier, we saw Angelica risk victorious in her matchup, knowing that she has an NWA Women's Championship match on the line in our third event if Camille retains. So it's interesting to see how that develops. Again, the, the wrestling is just at a grueling pace today. Some of these athletes will have three matchups. Right now we are seeing both Ashley Dembois and Camille debuting. Camille able to get out of the way. Sliding under the legs of Dembois and rolling her through. Camille went for a pump kick and Dembois follows up with a club to the back. La creme de la creme, truly living up to that nickname right now. Are you happy for the win? Not as hungry as me. Looking for a cover here. Dembois hooks the leg, but Camille not giving up this championship. Forearm sends Camille down to the mat. Another punch. And Camille, look, she's rocked. She's trying to shake this off, but Dembois relentless. Another pinfall. Still not enough. Dembois with a chin lock, grinding down the champ. Camille, series of strikes to get to her feet, trying to break this hold. I think she's gotten out 
But wait, Dembois reverses. Went for the dropkick. Camille holds on. Camille has an opening. Camille with a lariat off the ropes, flattening the challenger. Camille unable to, to capitalize and get any sort of a pinfall, but this might be enough to at least even out this match and give Camille some time to recover. You can see the determination on Dembois' face as Camille pulls herself up by the ropes. Camille ducks out from behind. Now again, going back to the arm, to the shoulder of Dembois, sending her into the corner. Camille with a corner clothesline. Dembois up on the shoulders again. Version of an Oklahoma Stampede power slam. Camille for the win. Oh. You can see the disbelief on Camille's face. She's trying to just figure out what she's going to need to do to retain her title. And Dembois fighting with everything she has. Big flipping neck breaker. New champion, Dembois with the. Oh. So, so close. Oh, Camille, fighting it. Some elbows trying to stay on her feet. Big leg drop. Two. That might be the closest pinfall in this match so far. Ashley Dembois was absolutely flattened and it is struggling in the corner, but it still wasn't enough for Camille to retain. What's it gonna take? Camille was looking for the spear, but Dembois had it scouted. Dembois with the cover. That driver still not enough. These pinfalls are getting closer and closer. Something has to give. Dubois tried this before, and Camille was able to fight out. Can she do it again? Spear! Your winner of the match, and still NWA Women's Champion, Camille! Camille making a huge impression in her LNO debut, successfully defending her championship. TitleMatchNetwork.com Now this is some contrasted styles right here. Elaborate. Well, looky here. She's tall and goddess-like, right, Miss Camille? She's shredded like a box of mini weeds. And again, we got Miss Angelica Risk, which I'm willing to take that risk. And again, she's short and compact. She's quick. So again, contrasting styles. All right. I, I, don't know, I think I made it work. No, you did. You got there. You got there. You're right, White Mike. I put you on the spot. Yeah, you did. And I still got my little one-liner yeah, in. Still got it, baby. He heard it too. I don't care. What's he gonna do? He can't right. make it up here. Right. Shoulders too big to get in here. Yeah, man. Uh oh. She's a brick house. She's my my dear. I'm done. And again, a, a severe height disadvantage as well, you know. And that hurt her from a clothesline to Camille. Oof. Oh gosh, this is not looking good. Oh, three big blows. Good on Angelica to get out of the way, just kind of create some space. Ooh. 
But Mills said, no, you don't. Come back here. No, again, you don't want to get caught up in that, man. That's just a, a barrage of beatdowns. Just oh. threw her across the ring by her neck. Mm. I like how you said that. Thought you might, that's why I said it that way. Put a little, put some stank oh. on it. Oh. 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 I don't think her feet touched the ground. Took that and she only hit the, the, the first two. Okay, yes, ma'am. Will she stop? I'll be talking again. Chris takes it to the outside, gets that breather. Camille, she sure needs to. Holding her ground. And Camille's in a tough match of, again in the main event of night two. Uh-oh, hang on. We've seen this happen oh many gosh. times. And it's not oh, my oh. God. Oh. oh, right in the throat. Just. Oh. <laughs> Everyone getting too close to these ropes. Here comes too close. Well, ah, I tried. Risk going to the oh. high risk district. Ah, oh, man, you're too good. Big oh. toss. Oh. <laughs> you got me now, huh? Fell off the jetway again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good grief. Oh, and that's how you tear a hammy, boy. Oh, and that's how you further tear it. Camille gets stopped on that top rope. Kick to the hip. There you go, and Helica, she just got to stay true. Keep chopping her down, breaking her down. Gotta keep oh, working yeah. That wheel. Man, that really rocked the, the NWA Women's Champion right there. There you go. Stay on it, sister. Hey, I'd hit both legs too. Again, you ain't walking, right? That's right. You take out her size. And again, yeah, you bring her down to your level, and that's exactly what Risk has done. That's a heck of a risk to take. Risk slowly becoming the tall person here. Yeah. Whoa! Should have took out her elbow. Hello. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Try to take one of each out if you can. Because if she can throw, again, she's called the Bull City Bomber back in the day for a reason. She used to soft, man. She was one of the fastest softball pitchers in uh, college, I do believe. I don't know. It's, you know. I think I'm right. Mill taking the limp. I would hate to drag those boots like that because, again, you're scraping that gold off, girl. Yeah. Oh. A little something for everybody else. But she's got to keep moving. She's got to get that blood flowing. It's not going to heal if that blood is staying still. And, again, Boom. she can't. Maybe she can't walk. She's just dragging that foot. Like it don't work. She looks big whip, but she can't. She can't really. Oh, oh she no. couldn't go for it. She wasn't able to capitalize. I would figure out how to oh, do a again. four. Ouch. I would like sharper shooter or figure out a four or something. You know, man, just really stay on the legs. That single leg Boston crab. I put one of those uh, those death lock scorpions on, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, he doesn't know the moves right now. He's just being stupid. Nice single leg crab right there. She doesn't have a good base on it, though. She's only got it by the ankle. You have to get that knee. You've got to control the knee for that to work. You really got to lock it in under the armpit, too, and just wrench back. Hey, Lance Storm, one of my favorites all time. Hit that thing out of the way. Now she's just driving oh. her shin into the oh. into the thigh and, and twisting the knee up. And look at the size of her leg. Her like half of Camille's leg is almost as big as Risk's entire leg. It's crazy. Like, can I just get a piece of that? <laughs> can I get some arms like that, please? The good thing about Camille's height is she was able to get a couple chops in there, even though she wasn't able to get to her. At a proper height, she was able to get some, some reach on her. Got some yes, reach. Exactly. You might not be able to walk, but I can still throw. I still got wingspan, baby. You know what I mean? Oh! <laughs> that is not what I thought was going to happen. Oh, did she get, did she do that with her with the lights? What was that was crazy. That's a risk she's willing to take, and she it paid off. I didn't know she had the lights like that. Uh oh! Squish her little head in the buckle. Ouch! Kind of telegraph that one right there. You can't do that Mill with NWA. Away. Oh. Hangs on. Holds Up. on. Down. Oh. <laughs> Elevator went to the penthouse. Ooh, one of them back she plays. Good but grief. Mill getting the crowd. This crowd strongly behind the NWA Women's World Champion. 
Oh, God, oh. still able. Those legs barely holding. One leg and all, still able. Is she going to snake us? I'm sorry. Whoa! Oh, my. Pump kick. Cool. That's what you want to call it, boy. That is, he pumped her head right from neck. Oh, nice neck breaker. Is that enough to put her away? Ah. Oh, it's not. Nah, she's got a lot of heart, does Rich. She talks a lot of, you know, garbage, but she's got fight in her. She's spicy AF. She's ready to fight. Camille still lacking some of that leg power to get a good bit of, of, of torque on that oh, pin. God. You see, just bend around Camille. Yeah. Got her up, Argentini and backbreaker to the torture rack. Oh, 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 she couldn't do it. I was going to say nice neck pillow, but good grief. Fell right off. Camille would have had it right there. We're back to it. Nice, there she back goes. Still not getting all of that crab that she wants. Uh, she can get about that knee to the armpit she, and then bring that foot to the back of her head. We might have a new woman. Just champion. start kicking her in the back of the head with her own foot. That'd be tight. The fans really, ah, oh, oh, they were. Risk able to drag her back to the middle of the ring. That's where you want her. See, so like tap. That hand's up. No way. Oh, I thought. No. Oh, she's crawling. She's using every bit of power left in those arms. And she's got and she reach. she gets the ropes. I mean, her legs are pretty much in the middle. And she's got reach, man. What you get when you're five foot fifteen? Hey, that's it. Ooh, six one. Nobody's home, and that move really discombobulates you. When you spin like that, spear. She caught her. Could this be? And that oh is it. man! White Mike still in WA Women's World Champion. Oh yeah, the Brick House. Hill. And still the NWA Women's World Champion. Camille! Look, look at Bill right there, boy. He's ready to go. He, I got that belt, brother. And again, when you miss a, a 505, a.k.a. 619, a.k.a. 718, you spin around those ropes, you're dizzy. And Camille took advantage of that and cut her in half with one leg to jump out of into a spear. And that shows you the power of Camille. Our NWA Women's World Champion. TitleMatchNetwork.com Ari Alexander in no hurry to get in the ring here to kick off this match against the Brick House Camille. KFW sparing no expense here tonight. The stars are in action, have been here all night long for Black Harvest 17. And here is the former NWA Women's World Champion, Camille in action. Held that title for 812 days, Rob. 812 day reign that was very recently ended by the woman who is in the back right now, a woman that we have seen twice tonight in Kenzie Page. The new KFW Tag Team Champion, Kenzie Page, as Camille working over the arm of Ari Alexander. Quick roll, roll through. No, not enough. You know, you said earlier, Ari Alexander in no hurry to get this started. Well, look, whenever you have the longest reigning NWA champion of the modern era standing across from it's you. It's intimidating. Look, look, look no further than just look at Camille. 
She looks like an absolute monster in every sense of the word. And if you paid any attention to her reign with that championship, she is an absolute monster. This is a great opportunity for Ari Alexander to step in the ring and prove herself against one of the best in the world today. And you gotta ask yourself, is she gonna be able to step up to Camille on this night? You know, I mean, the only person that knows the answer to that question is Ari herself. And right now, I think the only thing that she's really worried about, and genuinely really the only thing she needs to be worried about, it's not about beating Camille, it's about surviving. She can't do that. It's about staying out of her own head. Of course, last time we saw Ari Alexander here in KFW picked up a big win over Kylie Alexa, thanks to Tommy Henry. That's Camille looking to slow down the pace here. Camille is going to do to Ari exactly what she does against all of her competitors, I guess with the, except, with the exception of Kenzie Page very recently. She's going to wrestle her match. She is going to grind you out. She is going to outpower you. She's going to outmaneuver you. And that is exactly what we're seeing right now so far. Ari Alexander uh, certainly trying her best to bring down the brick house. But to your point, Rob, but how, many, how many times did Kinsey Page, all respect to Kinsey Page, one of the best in the world, how many times did it take Kinsey Page to finally defeat Camille. It took several attempts. And look, Kenzie Page, not perfect. She lost her television title the night before to Max and Baylor. Kenzie Page, uh, and, and I think and this is no disrespect to the current champion. We both know how tough she really is. It's very possible that in Camille's mind and in a lot of fans' minds, she got lucky that night. Like you said, nobody can burn the brick house down. The big bad wolf sure as hell tried to, and I don't think Ari Alexander's gonna be able to see How many people stepped up and tried to take that title from Camille during that reign? Think about it. Some of the best going today, names like Chelsea Green, uh, Melina, Karen Terrell, Ali Catch, Layla Hirsch. I could go on and on and on. Camille has defeated them all to defend that title. And honestly, it's it's strange to me to not see her carrying gold. It really is. The NWA was having to go outside of their own female roster and call up everybody, every top name on the independent scene. Cover Legacy. made. Call up every top name on the independent scene. Look, we need somebody to come out here and challenge our champion. Who can step up? And it took a very long time for somebody to successfully be able to do so. To that point raises the question. I'm going to ask you, Rob, how does that affect the mindset of Camille? going from defending that championship night in the night out to now being in this match without that title on the line. Well, there's one of two things that I can think. Either one, it's a lot of pressure that she no longer has to be worried about. So now she can come into a match like this, a match with no stakes, and not have any worries, not have to worry about carrying that burden of carrying an entire division on her back. Or two, it can light a whole other fire underneath Camille, and she could be even more aggressive and even more of the monster that she was whenever she was the champion. Absolutely, no champion's advantage here either as the brick house falls. Ari Alexander with the leg hooks. No. That is as close as any woman has ever gotten to getting a successful three count. We talk about making an impact, making a statement. If Ari Alexander here on this night at Black Harvest can put away Camille, you gotta imagine that stance her as one of the best going today and certainly would have a chance at the NWA Women's Championship. If I'm Billy Corgan, I'm back in the Brinks truck up to her door if she can beat Camille tonight here at Black Harvest. Of course, if Ari seems a little familiar, perhaps you've seen her on the Netflix series Wrestlers, documenting Ohio Valley Wrestling. Now here, the, bringing it to Camille. Camille's shaking it off, though. You see right now, right back on the offensive. You can daze Camille. You can you can catch her off guard. It is possible. But I don't know if it is possible to stay on top of Camille. I've never seen it. And Rose already going for a cover. Camille busted open. Right between the eyes. This goes to show how tough both these competitors are and how 
hard they are bringing the fire. Look at this, innovative from Camille. This is with the pump kick. And you can see how much Camille has grown as a talent just from the cover. You can see how much Camille has grown for, as, as a talent. I remember going to some of those old NWA power tapings at GPB Studios in Atlanta, Georgia during the first two seasons. And Camille hardly got the opportunity to get in the ring and show what she had to do because at that point, she was still very green as a competitor in this business. And now, just to see how much she has grown and to see how she can take a match and make it her own, and she has done such a great job of that tonight. Yes, she has. And speaking of making the most of an opportunity tonight, you can see Ari Alexander growing in confidence as each minute surpasses in this match. You can see just the confidence in her eyes. She knows it's all about the grind, and that's the only chance you have. You have to try to grind away at that brick house. That is the only chance you've got, and to hope that at some point you can catch her off guard long enough to at least pin her down for three seconds. And Ari Alexander knows. Big pump kick. I was going to say she knew there was a light Cover. in the tunnel, but it might not be the light she was looking for. Right now she's got to make sure she doesn't walk towards the light after that kick. Good God almighty, just about took the head off of Ari. Ari going to the midsection and now up on the shoulders, looking to power up Camille. Ari has the waist hooked, of course, known for those German suplexes, the suplex machine, the queen of the German suplex, whatever you want to call her. Unable to get Camille quite yet. But rolls through with a snapmare. Penalty kick right across the chest and now going for a cover, Rob. Could this be it? Not enough. That confidence seemingly fading away now, looking a lot more frustrated than she was just a couple minutes ago. This is not going to make anything better as the fans start chanting for Camille. Goes up. Letting it get under her skin. Now Ari being placed on the shoulders of Camille. Look at this, in burning hammer position. Look at this, look at the torture rack. Into that spin out power bomb. Leg is hooked. Oh, no. You can hear it here in the crowds. The people in Sevierville, Tennessee thought that was over. Look, I'm more surprised that it wasn't than anybody, I can promise you. Well, it has her in her sights. Drop toe hold. Yeah. Yeah. Looked like Camille was thinking about that spear in the corner. Yeah. Oh. Now with that dragon sleeper. Camille doing whatever she can to get to those ropes. Ari wisely positioning her body closer to the center of the ring, bringing Camille, oh, Camille bridging out. Excellent maneuver there. Having to release that hole in order to get German out of that suplex. Brick, that pinning predicament. The move Ari is best known for as Camille rolls to the floor. That is a lot of respect for that being shown by Camille there. She knew that that very easily could have been it for Ari and she didn't want a chance and so she got out of dodge as quick as possible. waiting for Camille to get back in the ring. Notice she did not bring the fight to the outside. Wisely, knowing that if she wanted to bring it to Camille, she needed to wait for Camille to come to her. Roundup not exactly working out to her advantage. Two. No. So it seems like Ari getting a little more tepid as this match goes on. Face first into that middle turnbuckle. Again, the forehead of Camille already busted open. Big 
spear from That's Camille. It. That is it. And the Brick House takes down Ari Alexander. An excellent showing from Ari Alexander. But there is a reason why Camille is considered one of the very best in the world as she emerges victorious. Ladies Night Out 13, streaming now exclusively on TitleMatchNetwork.com. Camille went after 
after her very aggressive, like almost as if Haley Jane's been planning all of this uh -oh. this whole time. Oh! And now Camille's had enough. A handful of air. You don't want to rile up an athlete like Camille. Oh. You don't want to further provoke her because that's what you get. Well, look for hip toss, but no. Reverse. And Camille with the hip toss. Haley clutching her back as she eats an arm drag. Camille charges in. Haley got out of the way. Now Haley J going to work. There we go. Camille able to stay on the apron. Haley looks shocked as she charges in. Camille rolling Haley through and following up with a big pump kick. Cover Camille! Two, two, I thought that was it there. Haley J looked like she was dazed and confused. And once again, Haley out on the floor. And this could be the count out. Be an easy night for but oh no! <laughs> Camille is apparently just not I mean at love this that. point I don't blame Camille. Haley keeps rolling outside. Now she is she is scampering away. Looking for Haley. I thought she went that way. I mean, she obviously. Oh! Oh! I mean, the faux fur to the face. Yeah, I said it. That's not real. I mean, someone had to say. It. Camille is laid out, and look at look at Haley. Haley says, "Make the count." Haley is very happy to take a count out victory. Still getting up. I mean, she still has a few more seconds left to get her wits about her. Trying to shake it off. And finally, able to get back in the ring, but Haley's right there. And this is where Hollywood Haley J, this is the match that she wants. This is the pace she wants. She's able to just grind down to be a. Oh, but no. <laughs> um, oh! oh, finally able to get her over. Popping the double buys, Haleywood Haley J. Hollywood Haley J. Haley, Haleywood. Hollywood. Oh boy, I'm sorry, she's gonna come after me next. Hollywood Haley J. Grinding down Camille deep, deep on the chin. Look, you can see that Haley using her upper body to try to keep Camille down, but Camille with the size and strength advantage is still fighting and all. Oh. It yes. doesn't matter what side you are if you get chopped in the throat, Brittany. Yes, and you have to give it up for Haley. It, Jade, she's, the, the fact that she was able to lift Camille like that, so impressive, and now dominating this match. Super kick. Oh, Camille, is she gonna go down? Haley's gonna make it happen, but no. Oh! Swinging neck breaker, and Haley is down. Camille finally has some separation. The Brick House trying to stand tall and stand back up and capitalize. She's able to pull herself up by the ropes. Haley charges in, but Camille is right there. Oh, and pulling her up and into the turnbuckle by her tights. Camille sending Haley across the ring, and whoa-oh, up on the shoulders. And oh! An Oklahoma stampede straight into the pitfall. And no, only two. Listen, say what you will about Hollywood Haley Jane. I, I have said a lot for her. I hope she doesn't watch this back. But she is as tough as they come. She is scrappy. Whoa, I mean, well, went for the neck breaker again. You do uh, when you're from the streets. Have to be scrappy, but whoa. Oh, wait a second. Up on the shoulders into a torture rack position. Haley is being pushed oh. in half. You yeah. dropped. Torture rack bomb into the cover. What? And Haley, she didn't even kick out so much as just get the shoulder up. Oh, and I've seen this before, Brittany. Camille making sure that she has room to charge in this spear. 
I mean, she is from Bull City. Here we go. And, oh, Haley had it scouted. Gotcha. Oh, taking down Camille and hooking the leg. And Camille gets the shoulder up. Haley can't believe it. Somehow, Hollywood Haley J able to avoid that deadly spear of Camille. Where's, where's, where's she Haley? Where's she going? You can't win outside the ring. Oh no, she has that song. Oh. That song of rocks. That, you can't use that in a match. Maybe in the streets, but not in the squared circle. Hey, we've got a roll of quarters. The Saga Rock, the official is, yes, take it away, please. Yes, please, who knows where that's going now. Sock is, looks dirty, it's gross. Oh, the ref couldn't take it from, oh! 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 Spear, spear, into the cover! The biggest women's wrestling event of the year, Ladies Night Out 13, streaming now only on TitleMatchNetwork.com.